description of what is dial tune so we can capture that again and we'll go through. Yeah, so dial tune again, uh, real quickly, is a cable tuning system that allows for single point tensioning on the top and the bottom head independently. So with this dial right here, you control the pitch of the drum. Uh, one dial on the right side, if I'm sitting this way for the top head, left side is your bottom head, so two dials. Um, and basically what it does is it, through a cable and pulley system, provides even tension around the head uh, throughout the tuning range. So you're not having to deal with uh, independent lugs and tension rods to try and pitch match all of those or dial in the sound that way. You're simply finding the pitch that you like for the particular song and particular setting that you're in and then adjusting the That's top right. and bottom, that relationship between the heads to find the sound that you're looking for. Um, it's a, yeah, and generally finding that raw sound, starting there and then deciding if you wanna add dampening, take away damp, whatever you wanna do. You know? And we had talked about the quick release hoop system as well as another feature set of this. So as you're dialing up and dialing down, if you take the tension out of the system, you can easily swap the heads, and we'll demo that in a second mm -hmm. on what that looks like. That was another big piece and feature of this, and we were talking just before the break a second ago. Actually, can I call something out yeah, about yeah, that yeah. that we, we missed last time? One of the reasons we um, integrate the quick release hoop into this system is so that you don't have to change the cable yeah. every time you change a head. In fact, you can get a long life cycle out of this cable depending on how you use it. Uh, we have drums on the rack here where we've never changed the cable uh, because we set it and we forget it, right? Kind yeah. of like a traditional drum, you dial it in, you get your tension rod set, and you don't mess with it. I think this drum still has the original cable from like two years ago. Yeah. And it's just, it's tone, it's tuned exactly where we want it. We love the sound of it. We just leave it. You just leave it. And it's, it's ready to rock. And if you're dynamically tuning all the time throughout a set, or if it's in a studio setting and you're cranking up and down, yeah. up and down, up, you may change it more frequently, once every couple months, something yeah. like that. But essentially, the quick release hoop means you don't have to mess with the cable to get ahead on or off, which is an important feature. Just a gentle reminder again for everybody that's watching. I'm watching the live stream. If you have questions, we're taking your questions live, so please put them out there. We had a great question earlier that was talking about the difference between our metal snares mm -hmm. and our wood snares, and we kind of walked through the sonic differences between our black nickel brass as well as our maple snares. We're also talking about maybe some other properties of other shell types that are gonna be coming soon. Um, but we have other questions. Um, just wanna throw one back out to you guys. Where did dial tunes start? How did we come up with this idea? I mean, there's so many questions from drummers across the community. Like, how did this not exist already? Yeah. Wasn't this tried before? The Schleichman or the millions of other great ideas. Yeah. Why, why dial tune, why now? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so taking it all the way back to the beginning, for me, um, the inspiration came when I was trying to solve a problem that I had. Um, I was at that time playing drums for a lot of different churches, um, which typically had a house kit, right? So I would show up with my snare drum and a cymbal bag and some sticks, and I would do, do my darndest to try and get it to sound good in that environment, right? And every environment was different. Every um, uh, just acoustically you're dealing with a lot of variables and so i'd bring my snare drum and i'd always be trying to find the sound i'm looking for get rid of overtones uh match the acoustic environment i'm in and it was challenging the other thing about you know church music worship music is that it's very dynamic so you have some songs where you want a big deep booming snare and other songs where they're more pop and you want it cranked up tight and bright and so um, I just thought, man, it'd be wonderful to have a drum that would allow me to instantly get that that real-time feedback of mm. sound and to find it on the fly to adjust for the environment or for the song in the set. So, you know, single point tension's kind of been something that has been, I don't know, a little bit of a holy grail people have been after for a while in yeah. different ways. Um, and some systems were, I don't know, a little bit more functional than others, but there were a lot of problems that had to be overcome. And the light bulb for me was, you know, I was a snowboarder too. This is um, a while back and I had the, the BOA system was a new thing, which is the little ratcheting cable on your boots that help you lace up your boots. So replace lace, laces with a adjustable cable. And kind of thinking about those two things, the light bulb went off, like what if someone could, could do something similar for drums? Um, and yeah, I mean, I think it was for me a, a moment of sort of divine inspiration and then this long journey of, of trying to figure out how to make it how to make it a reality. Uh, a lot of prototyping, a lot of R&D over the years to, to get to where we have a solution that's elegant, that works well, and doesn't have some of the similar problems that some of the other systems had. All right, All right we're gonna change mics real quick. We're gonna see if it works. Can you guys hear us? Is this any better? 
Man, we're having a lot of fun with mics. Um, we'll keep on going. It looks like the mic is back and working again, hopefully. Um, have we noticed any... you got a question in the thread. Have we noticed any artists experiencing a loosening of the cable as the dial is under constant, you know, heavy rim shots? Heavy rim shots. So I will say that the design of this is using a worm gear, which um, works on tension, right? So as tension is applied, the friction of the worm gear kind of locks. It's similar to a guitar peg, guitar key. So at a, you know, medium to high tuning, no, we've not seen the drum loosen in those scenarios. If you're at a really low tuning, I mean, a lot of drummers like the low, deep sound you can get out of a dial tune snare because you can actually tune it lower than a traditional drum because you don't have tension rods rattling and things to worry about there. At a very low tension, you may not have much friction on that gear to where if you're pounding away, you could see it slowly start to slip over time. So what we've done, and actually in the new design, is we um, our dials are stiffer than they were in the previous design. So we've changed up some of the internal mechanism um, and made it so that that's less likely to happen with the new design. Um, the other thing is when you're real backed off like that and you have a really loose head to begin with, you're basically just trying to keep the head on, hoop on. You're not doing a whole lot of tuning at that low level. Um, that actually brings up a really good point though. On our previous version of our snares, we were really excited about the action yeah. on the dial. And it was almost playful in a way. We liked where that was at, but one of the disadvantages, if you could call it that, was that at really, really low tunings, the dial would slowly start to back out. And we're talking really low tunings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lower than you could go with lugs and tension rods because at that rate, you're going to get lugs that are like rattling. Mm -hmm. So it was amazing, but the sound would start to back out. Now, we've made a systematic choice that it's stiffer, as you mentioned, throughout the tuning range. So that even at that really, really, really low sound, mm -hmm. dial tune is still holding tension because we've specifically engineered effectively a worm gear that is designed just for this drum. And I, what I love about it too is that I can crank it all the way to the top and it's going to be stiff, but I know that I'm not going to break anything. Yeah. And yeah. that's the thing too is as you guys are playing with the drum and you're feeling like, oh man, this is getting really, really hard at the top of the range. We did that intentionally. It's okay. Crank it. Don't worry about what's going on. Drum, you're not going to break the drum. You're not going to. It's in design for that. I want people to really enjoy and experience kind of that full range of sound. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You Like Brian, I mean, we'll demonstrate this all in a little bit, but you can basically crank it to where your hand is physically not capable of moving it anymore. And we've done this a million times. On this drum in particular, you can max out the system yeah to where the head is completely stretched out um you're going to need a new head at that point <laughs> <laughs> but the drum won't break it's not going to snap on you and um you can feel free and just keep cranking until it's as high as you want it to some be. great questions in the chat let's yeah. jump to this real quick the one that probably a lot of people are waiting for i've pre-ordered my snare <laughs> when am i getting my drum yes Thank you. First of all, thank you for uh, for pre-ordering, for joining the Dial Tune family. We are so excited to get your snare to you here shortly. Um, we are actually uh, expecting drums to start shipping. Um, what, first or second week of December. Yeah. So Brian and I, we're going to do some, and maybe, I don't know if you're coming down yet. I'm hoping to. I, I want to. Uh, we're going to go down to the warehouse, do our final round of inspection, and get our hands on every single drum. Get yeah. the founder's touch and tune every drum before we have them go out. So yeah. we're really excited. To have if you out. open the box and it doesn't sound perfect, <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> but in all reality, no, like yeah. drums are landing right now, which yeah. is the great news. Like I think when we first did pre-orders on our last series of snares, it was like six months yeah. before <laughs> we had drums in hand. Yeah. And, you know, massive thank you and credit to the community who stuck with us and supported us throughout that journey. Fortunately, we've, we've decreased the time significantly on yeah. this round. Yeah. Drums are here, they're landing, we're gonna go to the warehouse, we're gonna get our hands on them, and then we're gonna send them out to you guys and they're gonna be available before the holiday, which is key yeah. because we're closing pre-orders very soon, which means if you don't get it at, before the pre-order date, mm -hmm. then the next time to get it, it's gonna be mid-January, early January. So yeah. now is the time to kind of pick one up. Yeah, so after we do QC, final round of QC on that, uh, it's, there's quite a bit of a backlog, so then Orders will start shipping out the first week of December, hopefully. Yeah. In the order that they've been received. So, um, yeah, exactly. we'll start shipping them, fulfilling. And uh, you should, if you're on the pre-order list now, if you already uh, pre-ordered, 
you uh, will most likely <laughs> get your drum before the holidays. Where yeah, no, this should be second week of December. Yeah. And uh, yeah. also, a similar question we've had a lot of people ask about, like, all right, well, what happens if I need more cabling? Yeah. So cable's available also through the website um, for, as a replacement item. And every drum that we ship comes with an additional nice. length of cable as well. So you'll have one replacement cable in the box with the drum, um, which is important because we want, want you to get in a situation where you needed to replace the cable and didn't have it. Yeah. So you'll have one there, and then you can order through the website. They typically ship in just uh, one to two business days after order. And we sell them in packs of three. So you always have two full replacements and then another extra to keep you going. Um, and again, we've got videos on the website on how to swap a cable out as you're waiting for your drum. You might check that out, take a look at it. Um, That's a great call. First time you do it, it takes a little bit. And then after you get the hang of it, it's really not a big deal and, and just part of the regular maintenance of, of owning a thousand. Yeah, <laughs> what I noticed is the first time I ever changed the cable was a little awkward. It took me about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I had to kind of systematically go piece by piece. But then I watched the video that we literally made of our own, and I started to see there's kind of tricks, tips and tricks yeah. on things that just make it easier. I was using the um, Allen wrench that I'd used to take the dial off to kind of poke the cable into the pulley system. Yeah. Now, in our in our warehouse, we can change a cable in three, five minutes. Or even less. I can do it yeah. in about a minute 30 now. I've yeah. just gotten really comfortable with it. So the more that you do it, it's one of those things where, of course, you know, you're not going to be doing it all the time. But it should be to the point where it shouldn't feel odd or weird. You're going to do a maintenance check on your drum frequently just to make sure that things are good. And that's just the you know part of owning a drum. Like any kind of drum, you always want to make sure that your, your equipment's in good condition. This is yeah. just another thing that you do. And the good news about it is like your cable's going to last time. And then when you have to change it, it's really easy to do that. And we try to make it as accessible as possible. And it's really easy. We'll demonstrate. But removing the head or the yeah. dial face is very simple. So it's a single uh, screw. When you take that off, it allows you to access the cable and take a look at it, and yeah. you can visually see if it's needing replacement or not. So There's a question on the thread. Yeah. This actually makes tuning instant, and I love that word. Instant is a, we call it near real time, whatever you want to call yeah. it. That is that is unique. When I feel like I'm tuning and I'm, I'm using like a traditional lug and tension rod you know, setup, I'm having to go to eight, eight 10 lugs around a drum right. before I tap it, and I can hear that sound. But should we demo this? Should we show this to people? Like if we're, hopefully you guys can hear this on the thread. We're going, but as I'm playing. So you're in real time, I'm tuning while I'm playing, which is something that is really unique, really special about this. Well, and it's, fact, we don't say this enough. Like we talk about the features and how it works. We don't talk about how fun it is. Yeah. Like, instantaneous feedback of your sound on the fly is just fun. Yeah. Because you can play with it, you can experiment with it. Practice sessions are more fun now. Is this also the it. only drum on the market in which you can tune and play in real time with the bottom head? Yes. Because I feel like any other time you gotta flip the drum over. You gotta flip the drum over, it's, uh, it's a messy business. And again, it's really important to call out the importance of that relationship between the top and bottom head. Yeah. Right, because at least for for me, the way I tune is I crank the bottom head really tight to start. So it's a tabletop tension and get the sensitivity on those snares just really, really right. fine tuned. And then I adjust the pitch on the top head to find basically the pitch that I want to be at. But then from there, you can just have these little tiny adjustments. Um, and the way the heads talk to each other has a lot to do with overtones, with resonance, with, you know, the pitch bending up, pitch bending down. So, um, I think even finding your own form of muting, yeah. like you, the the relationship between the heads, you might not need dampening because you're able to find that exact sound that you're looking for. Yeah. That's a really critical component of a system that allows you to tune separately. If you want the top and bottom head tuned the same, you can do you that. You can do that. Yeah. But if you don't, you don't have to. Right, right. That's a key. And it opens up new avenues of exploring uh, just tuning dynamics and how they work. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and it's fun. I just can't. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. Whenever we've gone to NAMM and just put this thing on display, just watching people walk by, they're like, what the heck? How, how can you do that with your yeah, – well, how can you get that sound right? And then they come sit yes. down. They put their hands on it. And then within seconds, they're like, yep, that's my sound. Yeah. Well, so we were talking a second ago about tuning. And obviously, we tuned it down. Let's keep going. 
and let's show people somebody else how many drummers does it take to tune a drum did somebody want to actually take the top off yeah, yeah we're down there yeah go ahead so this is how easy it is to replace a drum head i mean it's it's literally that and i feel like again while we have the head off let's talk about the system what's new on this drum and one of the things the camera over well, well, yeah let's let's get that so you want to unplug it yep and then um Sorry for the hands in the way. We have a, a camera and take the screw the top. Yep, 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 yep. So one of the things that I love so much about this drum and what we've done on the setup is as we've kind of come more and more into learning about this drum, learning about the different parts of our system, we've identified and manufactured each component based off of the ideal manufacturing process to improve strength, to improve durability, to make it just overall better. And so Brian, talk us through what we're looking at here. Yeah, so um, this is the kind of, uh, we call it our support rim, right? So this is the component that allows for that quick release hoop to come on and off and engage. This is a free floating component that rides on top of these center lugs. Um, and get in here too, Get show the inside. There's a lot of questions about like, does all this hardware choke the drum? Yeah, and, and people ask, are there more you know, or less holes drilled in the shell than a traditional snare? And as you can see, it's basically the exact same number of holes drilled. Um, these center lugs are mounted in pretty much the exact same way that a traditional lug would be mounted. Um, and so there's no additional fasteners. There's, there's no additional contact on the shell. The center lug is the only thing touching the shell. This is, again, free floating. If you look at the side here, you can see that it's offset. So if you do like a top down, um, you can see the gap in there. And this support rim is uh, stainless steel. It's laser jet cut out of a single piece for absolute precision and rigidity. Um, so thank you to all our Maker Series snare drum owners. We've learned a lot from you and from your feedback. And one of the things that we um, changed in this model is we went with the stainless steel for a little bit more uh, spring and rigidity, which just increases the function even more um, over the previous design. And then, yeah, do you have that hit? Yeah, the, you can put this back on. Pop it back on. Is that nice and loose? Yeah, should be good. There you go. There you go. Now you're and back so, in business. Yeah, and one of the things that I so appreciate about this type of a drum is there's there's a great question in the thread. Hey, is there a way to kind of have presets? Can I find that sound I'm looking for? And I know you can't really hear it super well. Sorry, this mic is kind of like failing us today. But um, just the fact that within, what, 10 seconds, 20 seconds of putting the head back on, I get it to a sound that sounds halfway decent. I think that is amazing. Last question thread right here. This is super important. How much does this cost? Yes. I can't believe we haven't covered that. <laughs> Brian, how oh, man, much does I'm this so drum cost? I'm so glad you asked. So if you've been following us for a while, um, you know our flagship drums, they, they cost a pretty penny because we were proving the technology, right? Yeah. It was the first time we'd ever manufactured them, and we wanted to do it right. And so our target and our goal really over the last year and a half or so has been to get dial tune, all the tech that we love, into a package that is – reasonable that, that drummers can afford to actually put into their um, arsenal. And so that's been our, our kind of our marching orders the last year and a half, really the, the mission statement of our, our organizations. We want these to be accessible to people and we want drummers everywhere to be able to play a dial tune snare drum. And so the other part of that is we were not willing to sacrifice quality um, in order to get a lower cost. And so that's a, that's a tall order, right? We've actually, in the end, increased the quality um, and the playability of these snare drums over our initial flagship offering. What's the price? And our maple drums are starting now at $599. And this black nickel over brass you see here is now at $799, which again puts us directly competitive against some of our favorite snare drums in the marketplace. Yeah. Um, to have a $599 maple drum that's at the top end of the market, I mean, zero compromises across the board as high quality a shell as possible with a new technology. Yeah. To have a 799 black nickel brass shell that is, again, no compromises, 
quality across the board, like that is insane, honestly. And I feel like our ability to get to this point, we're just getting started. There was a question in the thread a second ago. What about drum sets? What about drum sets? I love that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're innovators and um, we don't want to see this technology remain just a snare drum option. That's right. We want to see it for the full kit. Uh, we want any drum out there to be able to be... Um, we have no announcements to. yet. So sorry to break the news. We have no announcements <laughs> at this moment. But we are But we are working on it. And I think that's the thing that's yeah. critical is uh -huh. like, if you look at the history of dial tune, we started with a prototype and an idea. We went to NAMM multiple times, multiple years in a row, continuing to gather feedback. The first version that we released, we had already gone to four NAMMs with four different prototypes. Oh, after multiple prototypes in between to make sure that what we initially launched our maker series was as good as it gets yeah. and so far the feedback from the community has been pretty positive yeah. now we've improved upon that if you can imagine we've improved upon that while reducing the price to a point where we think this is far more accessible to the broader market if you can imagine that's where we've gotten to with snares we, we haven't you know we won't say that we've gotten success here this isn't like we've done it mission accomplished but We've gotten to the point where we've proven the technology and we've been able to find out a way to get this to a price point we're excited about. Now that we've done that, we know our manufacturing techniques. We know exactly how to build it. Kits are just a step away. Yeah, and the beautiful thing is you can throw a snare, a dial snare on any kit. That's right. And it will enhance the sound of the play. So we start with pick one up, try it out. If you love it, kits are coming. One of the things I love to mess with on is like I my snare and I don't always just use it as my snare. I throw it as a snob. Yeah. I'll put it in that Tom one position right off the floor and I use it as a snom because I can tune it up, tune it down, use it as a really low snare or have it as a second side snare. And it kind of blows my creative thinking out of the water. It gives me completely new avenues to explore that I wasn't necessarily thinking about before. And I, I really appreciate that about the technology. Awesome. All right. Any we have, questions? yeah, we have two or three more questions. Let's take a look here. A lot of people in the thread saying, Hey, I bought, I'm super excited for my uh my pre-order coming through yes love that we answer the questions on full drum sets um let's see here i'm going to keep going through some stuff buying the shit out of this thank you your your order and so i just want to address that yes really quick. once the drum so again first second week of december you will receive tracking information at that time and then you'll be able to actually track it um, to your door so that will be coming you'll get a notification um, as soon as your drum ships out and we've got more emails coming in the next couple of weeks too to keep you up to, up to speed on what's going on. Super quick question in the thread. How do I change the snare wires? Good news. If you've ever changed snare wires on any drum, it's literally the same. We have slots on the bottom of our uh, quick release hoops designed for snare wires to go through. We love the snare wires that we have. We've chosen plastic straps. We've tried a bunch of different things. Plastic straps are great because they don't stretch. And so once you your snare wires, they sound phenomenal. We have wonderful throw on here that has a really nice glide action to it. Um, but changing snare wires is the same on any other drum. So uh, you just basically use a drum key to loosen up uh, the straps, pull the straps out. That's also how you would change the bottom head if you want to change the rezzo head out. Yeah. Um, but it would make it super simple. And again, it's, it's worth calling out though yeah. too that you know everyone has their favorite snare wires. Um, any snare wires will work on this system just like they would exactly. on a traditional snare 14 wire. inch snare wire specifically 14 inch yes same with heads yeah. like um they come standard with evans um we love evans if you're not an evans guy swap it out any 14 inch head from any major manufacturer power board. strokes emads mm -hmm. aquarians yeah. attack anything literally that has a modern collar on it yep. is going to work on this snare and i, I love that about this because again it just gives you the exact sound that you're looking for right. on your drum. Right. Um, the other, any other like big questions that we get drummer feedback or people kind of like talking about, you know, what they like, what they don't like about this. I'm gonna look for a couple more questions on here. You yep. guys kind of chat amongst yourselves. Yeah. I will say brass is our most popular. Uh, yeah. We've sold more brass than we have uh, maple. By so far. It's, it's, it's a huge win. All right, big, yeah, we kind of answered some of the big stuff. So I think, you know, to leave you guys, here's what we're saying. Like, we're building this drum right alongside our community. I think it's mission critical that you guys continue to give us feedback. How do we make this better? How can we help you drumming? How can we help you in your creative endeavor? 
I mean, our mission as a company is to help people be more fearless in exploring new creative possibilities. And I love that this is really helping bring that to life. Um, when we get our drums out to you guys, whenever you're like on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube and you're, you're chatting with the handle, that's us. We're, we're answering questions. We're talking in real time. So we're the customer service. We team. literally are the customer us. service for better or worse. We want to know about it what do you not like about it how can we make it better if you got video of you playing our drum whether it's in you know a studio like this or on a stage or just you know at a church or whatever send it to us tag us we yeah. want to know about it we want to share in that joy with you and i feel like you know it, we would be doing a disservice to say that like you know we don't need your help we want your help yeah. Sp help us spread the word yeah. help tell everybody that's a drummer that you know what a dial tune is how it works you know, holler at your favorite manufacturers. Tell them to take a look at this technology. <laughs> we want this to be on as many drums as possible. And again, as we said from the very beginning, we don't want to necessarily replace lug and tension rods. We just provide another option. Yeah, an alternative, um, a new a new tool in your bag. Um, so yeah, thank you to all our Maker Series customers uh, yes. and, and Dial Tune family members. We could not do this without you. Um, if you are a Maker Series uh, owner, you know we take customer ser uh, service seriously. So if you're among the pre-orders, you're getting your dial tune snare for the first time, just know that the journey doesn't end when the drum arrives at your doorstep. That's right. We're available to you. Yeah. We're a feedback-driven company. We've, yeah. I mean, we went to name with just business cards and just got ideas from farmers. Idea, idea, idea. Yeah. And when we did that, we built all those ideas into this drum. Continue to do that with our kits. We're gonna continue to do that with the next versions. Whatever it is, we need your feedback. We also need your help spreading the word. Yeah. Um, the best way you can support us is by buying a snare drum. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly. But uh, we also have, you know, here, like we're repping logo, shirts, hats, you name it. Let us know how we can support you guys. And, you know, thank you. As we've said, thank you, thank you, thank you. We cannot do this without you. We're excited to get these pre orders out the door. Hopefully, hopefully, this is one of the last times that we pre orders because hopefully just drums are available going yeah, forward. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. That's the plan, at least until kits come out. That's right. That's right. So, again, thank you guys for the time, spending some time with us today. Um, of course, questions don't end here. If you have questions, you can always hit us up at hi at dialtunedrums.com. You can also go to our website where we have a form you can fill out. You can hit us up on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. We're all over the place. We want to hear from you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for sharing the word and hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah, thanks guys. Bye.